So you tore apart your engine and now you want to reinstall the oil pump. Either you're upgrading it, you're learning about engines, or you're a little bit sadistic and you like rebuilding engines for fun for some odd reason. No matter which one of the causes, you now need to put your oil pump back in. And maybe you've heard on the internet that there's a few weird technicalities that you need to be aware of when putting it in. So that brought you to this video. Well, rest assured, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, including all of the potential problems that you might run into while installing your oil pump. So let's start off with what is an oil pump? An oil pump is responsible for picking up oil from the oil pan and pumping it through your whole engine. It's kind of exactly what it sounds like, but that also means it's a very, very crucial component of your engine. And if you get it wrong, there could be severe problems. So make sure you listen closely and watch the entire video to see all of the tips and tricks on how to install your own oil pump. So to start off with, let's get you familiar with what the oil pump looks like. On this Chevy 350, it looks like this. And it connects right here on the main cap for the crankshaft. And that brings us to the first problem you might encounter. These little pins here might not be aligned perfectly. And that's okay. That happens a lot if your main cap gets moved or damaged or anything when you take it out. That is a very high chance of it happening. Thankfully, I was super, super careful with this cap when I took it off and when I put it back on and these pins are in great condition. Now, if you run into the situation where your oil pump is not going down over these smoothly, all you have to do is take like a small rod, something metal, maybe even a hammer, and just tap lightly on these pins to realign them until your oil pump fits perfectly back over them. Now I'm gonna place the pump down here just to show you what it looks like and how smoothly it should go on. You put them over the top and it just locks right in there. There's no problems, it's super smooth, there's no resistance when it goes down, that's what you're looking for. And when you take it off, it comes off super easily as well. Now here I have two separate drive shafts and one is a lot older than the other. This one is actually the original drive shaft that came off of the original engine here. This one is brand new and I'm gonna show you why you should almost always just bother upgrading to the new one. If you look inside there, you can see the little vertical pin and the plastic bushing that holds everything together. And on the new one, it's this metal housing with the metal pin on the inside, which is just a lot more durable and will work so much better on this newer engine application. Now both drive shafts do connect the exact same way. There's a slot here and that vertical pin inside of here just connect together. So now all we're gonna do is take the oil pump with the drive shaft, no RTV, no sealant, nothing like that right here. You want this surface dry and you want this surface dry. So you're just gonna drop it down in there all together. It's gonna link down on those pins. There you go. And then I'm just reusing the bolt from the old oil pump. I'm just gonna put it down here, get it finger threaded. And then this one's just a 5-8 socket that I'm gonna tighten down. And then we're gonna set our torque wrench to 65 foot-pounds. Now you may be thinking, hey, you're missing a piece on there and you're absolutely right. We still have to put the oil pump pickup on here. And that just slides into the hole on this side. It's a very snug fit, so just lightly get it snugged in there. And then I like to take just a rubber mallet and you're just gonna lightly tap this in. And it might take a few tries and it might take a while to get this in, but just be very gentle as you're tapping it. You don't wanna bend this, you don't wanna break it. You wanna be fairly careful, but this will slowly slide in there. So that's in about as far as it can go, and it's still a little bit loose here, which is exactly what we want. And we wanna leave it loose because the next part of this is actually using the oil pan to push that down into the right place so we get the right height on that oil pickup. So right here, we've got our oil pan and our oil pickup set right here. What we wanna do is make sure that you have the gasket down first for your oil pan, and I like to include the one that goes on the rear main cap here. And then what you're gonna do is just slowly lower the oil pan over the oil pickup and over the whole assembly. And you'll feel it catch right up here. What you wanna do is just slowly push it down until your oil pan sits flush with the seal on both sides. You wanna make sure that's completely flush, no movement, push it down a little bit 
Now we're good. Now you wanna slowly and carefully pick this back up straight over the oil pickup. There we go. So then this is set to be sitting exactly flush with the bottom of the oil pan. We want it just about a quarter of an inch lower than that. So we're gonna slowly rotate it about a quarter of an inch. That might actually be too much. Right about there. Should be about a quarter of an inch and now this is set where it needs to be. So that right there is set and secure where it is, but over time that oil pan can and will likely move. Now for many, many years, that's exactly how people set it, was just putting it in there, pressure fitting it, and basically hoping for the best. But nowadays we have technology and a lot of us have welders that are in our garage that we can use to just put a little tack weld on there and make sure that it won't go anywhere for its life. So I'm just gonna be using this little flux core welder and I'm gonna protect all of this from the various splatter with some aluminum foil and all we're gonna do is put a tiny little tack weld right there and that will keep it from ever moving in the history of the engine. To protect this from the splatter of the flux core I'm just gonna put this little sheet of aluminum foil down. This is gonna cover up all the important bits and pieces here that are directly nearby and I'm gonna get the second piece to just kind of make a shield around the oil pickup enough that I can still reach in there but still make sure that it's not going to splatter all over the place. You probably don't have to do this much protecting if you're just using a normal welder, but Flux Core does put a big spray everywhere, so we wanna make sure that it is really, really clean when we're welding. So I'm gonna clip the ground of the welder straight to the oil pump pickup here. It's still loose, so don't put too much pressure on here. You might get it out of whack with what your calibration is. And then obviously safety first, we got our welding helmet and our gloves. I know a lot of you are gonna disregard that tip, but I have to say it for my own conscience. And there you go, that's all you need is a little tack weld right there. Obviously not the prettiest weld on there, but you know, with flux core, you can't always get pretty. You're really going more for function, but this is solid, it's not going anywhere. It is completely locked in there now, which is exactly what we want. And that's it. That's how you install an oil pump in a Chevy 350. There's really not that much to it, but definitely you want to know what you're getting into before you start installing it. I know today's video was a little bit shorter, but I do want to increment these videos into smaller pieces for people to follow along at home or for people who just want to learn a little bit more about how engines work. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.